And I don't think our next guy needs any introduction. He is the guy, the blues guy, Guy Animal. Thank you, uh, folks. I'm going to keep this really short because we have had some guests that have arrived, and I really think their message, be it short and sweet, should be shared. Ron Barr from the Greater Ottawa Trucking Association is going to share a couple of words with us, as well Alex Lewis, the d executive director of the BIA for Bell's Corners, a true blue trooper who straddles both lines of the political spectrum, but in the end, we all know what color he is. But I'm just going to say a couple of words because over the last seven years and over the last uh, five weeks, I've been very worried about Ontario as we all have. What we have today in Ontario is a very unfortunate democracy. An unfortunate democracy in the sense that really we have two specific pools of people. Those who provide the teat and those who suck off the teat. We have unions that are so scared right now they're putting up signs on a Friday afternoon on a paid development day where teachers are supposed to be developing curriculum. They're out plugging signs for the Working Families Coalition on your dime and on your time and that is a shame. Those signs were to be started to be taken down today by a number of people that called bylaw basically because of social media. And I want to mention social media in this milieu of what happened this week and also an incredible problem that happened on Wednesday night where we saw five RCMP officers shot three of them killed which was probably again the most tragic event that's taken place since Mayor Thorpe. Social media at 7.30 or 8 o'clock before it was even broken on CFRA had videos posted of the police that we're basically searching for this person. The power of social media for anybody who isn't on Facebook, I do encourage you to get on it and I don't want to get off track. But going back to this unfortunate democracy that we have, we really are at a state in Ontario that this is the most important election in our history. Don't ever let anybody take your democracy away like the unions have taken away since June the 9th when that period of two weeks takes place that will basically allow every public service union in this province to spend more than the combined political parties spend in advertising during the writ period. Tim Hudak will change that. Public service advertising and third party advertising is unregulated currently in Ontario and it must stop. Yay! It is a crime. The other crimes in Ontario are obviously in the great book that Daniel has taken months and months to research. I do encourage you to read it. I myself will be reading it in the next few days. But we have five days, folks, and on that note, I just want to thank everybody for taking a Saturday afternoon. Mr. Griffiths, Mr. Alexander from the Landowners Association, Mr. Faulkner, a libertarian, Mr. Brisson, a libertarian. We are all on the same page of where this province must go. But right now it's being controlled by a bunch of unions that are taking everything out of the system and really, really taking our ability to pay away. It will come to a point, folks, where our ability to pay is finished. And the IMF will come in and produce austerity measures much like in Greece, which will happen in four to six years when our, Greek, our gross GDP to debt ratio hits about 70%. Hopefully on June the 12th we will change that course. Anyways. Thank you again, Peggy. Thank you again, Angus. And on that note, I'd like to introduce Ron Barr from the Greater Ottawa Trucking Association, who's on a three-minute time limit. <clears throat> he's a great talker. And then he's going to throw to Alex Lewis from the BIA, and we're going to basically have Brian wrap it up. But you know what? You don't have to leave, folks. We've got a great afternoon here. We've got some more food. There's lots to chat with your neighbors, talk about June the 12th. But thanks a lot for coming out. I'm very worried about Ontario right now.